Hey guys, this is Elena from We Learn to Share. In this video, we're going to cover this question from the chapter 8, Rotational Motion in Physics. So let's read the question. A person stands hands at his side on a platform that is rotating at a rate of 0.9 um, revolutions per second. If he raises his arms to a horizontal position, like figure 8-55, the speed of rotation dec decreases to 0 0.6 revolutions per second. A. Why? And B. By what factor has his moment of inertia changed? So... Uh, this is kind of easy if you already know how the whole system works and what kind of formulas there is in the connection between the values. So let's consider uh, the person, this person and the platform. Uh, the person and platform a system. Uh, for a angular momentum analysis and since the force and the torque to raise or like lower the arms are internal to the system because the force and torque to raise or like lower the arms are internal to the system which means that because we are considering this person and the platform as one system, and because um, the men raising or lowering the arms is basically caused by the person, which is a component of the system, and therefore we could call that the force and the torque to do that change and do that arm movement by the men would be an internal thing to the system. All right? The, the raising or lowering of the arm will cause, therefore, no change in the total angular momentum of the system. Remember that the change in angular momentum system, uh, angular momentum of the system only occurs when there is an external force to the system, right? But because this man uh, this man like raising his arms or lowering his arms and the change of the force and torque due to that raise, raising or lowering action is something that is internal to the system it will it will it will cause no change in the total angular momentum of the system right and having that said we could uh we could find the answer to step a right because however however the rotational inertia must be uh, will 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 be increased right when when the man raises his arms however the rotational inertia increases when the arms are raised so it is more harder to for the platform to platform to rotate right having these two sets we can conclude that since angular momentum is conserved or because the angular momentum does not change. But there is a change and there's an increase in inertia, right? Rotational inertia. An increase in rotational inertia must be accompanied by a decrease in angular velocity, right? Uh, yeah, and you can know that the angular momentum equals I, the inertia, times speed, right? So if we have the angular momentum as constant, it does not change, but there is an increase in the inertia, and uh, we need to keep this value constant, then the velocity will inevitably need to be decreased, right? So this is why. This is why the speed of the rotation must be decreased when the rotational inertia gets increased because the angular momentum would should be conserved in the system and now let's move to step b by what factor has his moment of inertia changed so for b we're gonna put the the formula that's the the angular momentum initial angular momentum will be equal to the final angular momentum because um the angular momentum will be conserved in this system because L equals equals I omega, if you put this value into here, it would be um, I initial times o, um, omega initial equals I final times omega final, right? 
And if we organize this formula with having i final on the left, it will be um, i final equals i initial times omega initial over omega final. And let's substitute these values into this formula, which would be i final equals equals i initial 0 0.90 revolution per second. And for final, it will be 0 0.6 zero revolution per second, which will be um, 1.5 initial inertia. So we can say that the rotational inertia has increased by the factor of 1.5. Yeah, and this would be the end of the video. Thanks for watching.